Okay, so we have a really special project coming up. It is kind of spur of the moment, kind of everything fell together. But right now we are in the Thompson headquarters and we got to get my personal Piedmont because we got to prep that bike to go 1500 miles over the next month or so. The bike is, the bike's in one piece to say the least right now and it's built. But we need to do some things to it to make it uh, feasible for the 1,500 miles and on the road for the next, I don't know, what you say, 30 days? I am very lucky that my last name is Thompson and I have the ability to do something like this. So this is my extra large Thompson Piedmont and we gotta make it ready to go on a bike packing trip for the next 30 days, over 1,500 miles. So we're at our local bike store and we're gonna get it ready. Do we wanna clean this off? Cause you're gonna be using that cassette. I'm gonna use this cassette because remember that purple bike we built? Put these tires on this rim is a pain in the butt. Yeah. So I wanna see if, it, if it's any easier on this wheel. No, I'll run these. Honest, I had a, some deep dish boards for a track bike and getting gator skins on. Mm -hmm. I broke a tire lever. Well, if you want, we can try them out. I mean, let's just maybe do the back one. We'll just see how easy it is yeah. to get on and off. And then uh, we can go from there. Yeah. I was thinking about doing silica. Silica sealant? Uh, to be honest, most of the sealants are going to be pretty on par with each other, but I will say that the, the original that I've always kind of gone back to, because I, I used Muck Off for a little while. But the only thing I don't like about the Muck Off stuff is it is thick, which is good in some situations, but the majority of situations is almost too thick. We gotta figure out what wheel or what tire will fit the best on this wheel for um, side of the road punctures and stuff. Yeah. Specs here, mm -hmm. yeah, so they know what PSI to pump it up to. Yeah, yeah. Well, that and it makes it a little bit easier. I mean, not that it's hard to find a valve here, but if you got big riding like a knob bike tire, it's easier to find that valve too. Yeah, I also heard it was good, so you could tell in your inner tube where your puncture is based on your tire. Yeah, that's but, easy to find. You don't even need tire lever for that. Well, I might run those then. Yeah. Two is getting that bead to the middle of that rim. And if you can get it to the middle of the rim. Yeah, that's that's enough for a tire lever. Yeah, for sure. You can easily get that. Yeah, you honestly, almost you with can your hands. Get that on my hand. Yeah, easy. Sweet. But with this size. How much do you think it weighs? It's like a medicine ball. It is, yeah. So this is the bike that I'm gonna take 1,500 miles around, well, I'm not gonna say where yet, but we're gonna take this bike for 1,500 miles on a bike packing trip, and it's gonna be the, the setup. This is gonna be the setup. This is gonna be the bike that I'm taking. It is a Thompson Piedmont. Now, like I said in the video earlier, I'm very lucky to bear the last name of Thompson because I'm able to do stuff like this, and it'll be more about the trip coming up, but for now, this is the bike, and this is the bike that I'm gonna take when I have built up, and it is a Thompson Piedmont titanium frame. It's an extra large for me because I'm 6'3", 6'4", and uh, we have it decked out. So we're running a 110 millimeter by 10 degree, the new G2 stem. We're running uh, the carbon gravel bars from Thompson too. Um, they have a 25 degree flare, which is super cool, uh, 44 centimeter for me. And I'm also running a Thompson Elite seat post, tried and true, can't go wrong with it. It's a 410 and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. All the other Thompson accessories from bar tape, double wrap the bars for extra comfort out on the road for that long. Um, Thompson spacer kit, we got a seat post collar from Thompson. And uh, yeah, 
this thing is it turned out a lot better than i thought it would now the funny part is though is i am running gravel wheels on this but i am also running continental uh, grand prix 5000s which is a road tire on gravel wheels but that's okay um the reason why i went with this rim and these wheels are boyd wheels the triple c podium gravel wheels from boyd and alloy not carbon from reading a lot of stuff and watching a lot of videos on youtube this rim um, well, any gravel rim in particular, especially one that's not a deep dish carbon uh, rim, I can more accessibility to different tubes out there. Um, these are set up tubeless right now, but there's more accessibility for tubes um, in the event that the tire gets a puncture and I got to patch it and put a tube in there and all that kind of stuff. So if it fails, there's a lot more availability of tubes that'll fit this style of rim to 25 millimeter internal width, which is good. And the tire is a 32C, so it's it's pretty supple um, for this style of rim which is really cool and i'm also running grx 11 speed not 12 speed but as many people say there are no rules to bike packing so i'm running grx 11 speed mechanical um, less batteries for me seems like the better since i'm going to be carrying around a lot of uh, stuff that requires batteries phone a watch computer rear light a front light um, a laptop so the less power it needs for me seems to be like the the move Oh, it's a 42 chain ring and a 1042 in the back. I may switch out the chain ring for something different along the way, depending on how it is, because the trip as of right now has 41,000 feet of climbing, which is insane. Um, and it's over the last kind of 400 to 500 miles. Um, so the first portion of it is pretty flat. And so I may need to switch this up, but I'm just gonna power through and see how it does me, because this is my first bike packing trip. First of all, my first true bike packing trip. Um, also, controlling the route and everything, I plan the route through Komoot, and then I'm using a Garmin Edge 840 on the front, and I'm using a Garmin Varrier in the back, um, rear tail light and radar, which is super cool. Um, Fidlock bottles, I got a 750 and an 800. See nothing but good reviews about these, so you know, we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. XTR pedals. Um, no power meter pedals or anything. Nothing on the bike is powered. Everything on the bike is mechanical besides the technology stuff, which is the lights and the computers and the radars and stuff. Everything else, I figured that was enough batteries for me. I don't want to worry about batteries for anything else. So, yeah, and also the saddle, tried and true. Cell Italia SLR Boost with the titanium rails, of course, because the bike is titanium. So with the fork is uh, the Columbus Cross Futura fork, missing carbon. Super cool fork, super good fork. We ship them with all of our uh, with all of our Piedmonts. So this Piedmont is actually an old prototype Piedmont and it's an extra large. It's one of the first ones we ever got in extra large. The newer ones will ship with T47 bottom brackets and internal routing through the stays. Um, but since this was a prototype and it was available to me and it was an extra large and it was in my size, I built it up. Um, I've been build, building it up and riding it over the past uh, couple months um, preparation of this trip. So um, if you see stuff on this bike, that's not how they will actually ship from us but because everything's internally routed through the chain stays now and uh, I figured for this bike packing trip why not have it externally routed anyways in case there's a mechanical or in case something I have to do some stuff but yeah and then the other thing about this this is just the bike as it is in one piece if I were to go out on just like a weekend ride this is what it would be like like on like a weekend ride this is not tricked out for trip yet so you'll have to stay tuned for that because I got a whole bag set up a whole bunch of stuff I'm, I'm bringing and this is just the bike in one piece ready to go ready to get kitted up for the bike packing trip how many miles is this again it's 1300 miles and i'm thinking about adding another 200 miles onto it to ride all the way back home and we're gonna do it on this guy this is crazy this is crazy